All right. So what you're looking at here is a uh, sample niche model, right? It looks, it looks familiar, right? Yeah. Except that, I mean, of course, the resolution is a lot um, coarser than what you're used to seeing, but you get the idea. Uh -huh. All right. And so this is habitat. This is the, 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 the Maxent made a model of habitat suitability um, um, as a function of arsenic levels. So the only, in this example, the only environmental variable was arsenic. Yep. Okay. So have a look at, um, uh, you see here when, when, when arsenic, arsenic levels are 0.3, the habitat suitability is in the middle. It's yellow. It's like 0.75. Yep. When arsenic levels are 0.8, the habitat suitability is low. It's 0.1. When there's no arsenic, the habitat suitability is one. Yeah. Right. So I mean, you're you're familiar with looking at results that way. Now mm -hmm. we're going to turn this into a response curve. All right. So I'm going to start by having arsenic level, habitat suitability. All right. So when the arsenic level is 0.3, the habitat suitability is 0.75, right? Yeah. So far so good? Okay. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. Now, actually, I can, I can even call this average habitat suitability, right? So we could go through, find all of the cells where the arsenic levels are 0.3 and average together the habitat suitability. In this case, it's always 0.75. Yeah. Right, but just, I mean, anyway, uh, just to be more technically accurate, when you're making a response curve, it's the average. So you take all of the cells where the arsenic levels are 0.3 and you average together the suitabilities. I made the suitabilities exactly the same, um, but they could be slightly different. Next, let's look at all the cells where the arsenic levels are 0.1. I mean, I'm not doing these in order, but we could. Okay, and in that case, the average habitat suitability is 0.8. I'll go ahead and put in 0.8 here. Okay, and then finally we have uh, when the arsenic levels are 0.8. I have that right. The habitats, the average habitat suitability is 0.1. All right. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make a graph. Okay, I gotta fix this graph here. Didn't know what I want. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't figure it out. What I wanted to do. There. And the y values are gonna be this. And the x values are gonna be this. I think I did this wrong here. So for 0.3, the habitat suitability is 0.75. For, no, for 0.8, okay, I did this wrong. So we got to go to 0.8 is 0.1. That one's right. Uh, for zero, it's one. Zero, one point eight point one point three point seven five. Okay, you with me? So here's the arsenic levels, here's the habitat suitabilities. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I'll just move this real fast. 
move chart to a new sheet. Okay. All right. So the x axis here, and maybe I'll just I'll add. All right, so we just made a um, we just made a response curve. So uh, so what do you think about what you're looking at? Yeah, that makes sense. Right. So that's so like that, but with your real data. Yeah. And instead of the x-axis being arsenic level, the x-axis is the principal component. So instead of every place on the landscape being measured for its arsenic level, every place on the landscape has a measurement of its, of its uh, score for that principal component. I think what's throwing me off is the negative numbers. Oh, don't let those throw you off. Um, um, uh, principal components, uh, uh, depending on how they're scaled, can go from negative infinity to positive infinity. Mm -hmm. So um, it doesn't mean anything. It's like having negative numbers in Celsius. Okay. Right. I mean, if you so if you see the if you see negative twenty Celsius, you know that that's colder than ten degrees Celsius, right? Yeah. The zero uh, point there in that scale is arbitrary. So similarly for a PC axis, think of it. Think of a principal component axis as being like temperature in Celsius. There's nothing magical that happens when you get below zero lower numbers. So when I'm looking at the response curves, I should be focusing on just the positive and negative, not the actual numbers. Uh, I would change what you said to uh, smaller versus bigger. The left side of the graph is smaller numbers for the PC. The right side of the graph is bigger numbers for the PC. That's always the way, that's always the way that you interpret a graph. Every time you, there's a graph, it's always smaller numbers are this way, bigger numbers are that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the share. You think, you think we're, I, I, we can keep talking, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop the share. Does that sound good? Sure, sure. But wait, oh, wait, I didn't want to, wait, I want to stop recording, not stop the share.